Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your reading for the first week of November. This is a general reading. Messages may come through for love, for money, for health. So whatever comes through is the most relevant message the universe has for you at this time. At least coming through me <laughs> and the cards. Guys, before we start, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. So let's see, universe, what do you have for our lovely, lovely Virgos at this time? Ooh, interesting. So the first energy that we've got here is the Eight of Swords. This is a beautiful illustration of the Eight of Swords, too. So actually, the Eight of Swords is one of my favorite cards. Because it speaks about self-imposed limitation. Not actual limitation, not actual obstacles, not things that are in your way externally, but things that are in your way internally. So this speaks about beliefs in your mind that are holding you back. Things that you feel are really true, but are not. Things that you feel like you really can't overcome, but you can. This is your mind holding you back, holding you into a space that is fearful, that is a shape or form of comfort zone, but is actually keeping you in a space of fear. So evaluate how maybe you're keeping yourself stuck without realizing. Maybe speak to a friend bounce ideas off with a therapist or something like that and allow yourself to see things from a different perspective. Maybe by adopting a different perspective, you'll be able to see how certain beliefs that may be 100% true to you are not really that logical to other people. And that might help you kind of like step out of that um, belief, belief system a little bit. Wow, these cards are stunning. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so this is this is the moon card being representing uh, representing the challenge for you at this time. So the thing is that you don't fully understand. You can't truly see what is that belief that's holding you back, and that's the challenge. Because once you can see it, you can heal it. Once you can see it and understand it, you can release it. But until that moment comes, until that clarity arrives, you can't really change it, right? So my recommendation and what works for me is working with a therapist, one that is open-minded enough to deal with all of my intuitive, you know, aspects without calling me schizophrenic or anything like that, <laughs> you know, um, someone who can validate all of your intuitive channels and how you receive all of the intuitive information that you receive if you are someone who's highly intuitive. Find a therapist that can handle that. You know what I mean? Maybe a Reiki master, maybe a shaman, maybe a regular therapist that is open-minded enough to deal with your energy, Virgo. And just allow yourself to bring forth that process because it may be a process. It might take a long time for you to really be able to bring that truth from with, from deep, deep, deep within you, from your subconscious, into the light. And allow you to see it. Because once you see it, you can heal it. By the way, guys, no shade to schizophrenia <laughs> or people suffering from that condition. I don't mean to throw no shade. Seriously. I just mean that sometimes regular therapists have, at least in my country, a concept that, you know, voices or psychic information being translated through the mind automatically translates into um, psychological, you know, conditions and not always give credit to psychic manifestations. Disclaimer. <laughs> Okay, so recent past, we've got the death card. So you have definitely gone through a deep transformation. And I think that, Virgo, this has taken years for you. Years. 
And now it just feels like this deep, serene silence. I see this card and I feel almost like the fresh air of the night and like the crickets sound like the sound of the crickets in the background and it feels so peaceful now it's kind of like you're just dealing with the remains the leftover beliefs that you just have to kind of brush out because the transformation is really done you are basically in your new self already and this week you may realize how much you have transformed you may realize how far you have come in your mind space though you have the double card so it is important for you to also acknowledge what is still holding you back and you're gonna see that contrast very clearly you're gonna see like wow I have become so much stronger, so much clearer, so much more powerful in this, 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 and that. But I'm still being held back by this belief and this habit. And I can recognize it. So this week is going to be kind of like that clarity wishing to come in. Okay? Obviously allow it. And if you feel like it's it's a struggle for that clarity to come in, seek whatever you need to seek for that clarity to come to you. What the universe wants you to know is that it is definitely worth it to fight for yourself, to put in the work, to put in the effort, to continue to kind of like cover that last little bit of the transformation for you to become your highest potential Virgo. Because once you see how powerful you're you're not you're kind of like transforming into or once you see the full picture of who you're turning into you're gonna see that every single time you picked yourself off from the floor every single time that you decided to um dust yourself off and keep going it was so worth it it was so absolutely worth it okay so it's worth it now as well to continue and to keep going Yeah, <laughs> so this is just a validation of that same message I just gave you. So the Nine of Wands is the Don't You Dare Giving Up card to me. <laughs> it's the card that you that says that you're about to manifest what you're looking for. You are right there. You're just so close. You can taste it. You can feel it. It's right there, you guys. Don't stop. Don't, you know, don't let go. Don't give up. You're right there, so please keep going. Please find that inner power within yourself, that inner stamina. Try to deep, deep, deep within access that, you know, inner fire. To let go of those things that are limiting you, to transform that last little bit of yourself that is craving transformation. Because it's definitely super duper worth it. Okay, Virgo? I'm excited for you this week. I'm excited for what this means. So please let me know how this may resonate for you in the comment section below. I would love to hear all about it. And I hope to see you very soon for the second week of November reading. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can receive notification for that. And please make sure to check all the links below in the description box as well. I am sending you so much love, Virgo. I want you to know that I hold a very special space in my heart for you guys. And that I wish you a lovely month of November as well. And very good luck with the Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> Bye, my lovelies.